In order to deal with the backlog of animals, meat plants have been instructed to quote-unquote depopulate their livestock, and many have resorted to atrocious methods of doing so. Yair Odette from Maryland, USA, for Fair Planet. The coronavirus pandemic has led to the shutdowns of slaughterhouses across the United States as a growing number of factory workers tested positive for COVID-19. According to The Guardian, the spread of coronavirus in meat plants, which resulted to a great extent from poor working conditions, has led to the abrupt closing of 30 to 40 meat plants. Seeing as in the U.S. the meat industry is heavily monopolized and meat production is consolidated among several prominent factories, the shutdowns have thus far cut the beef slaughtering capacity in the country by 25% and the pork slaughtering capacity by 40%, The Guardian reports. More than 10 million hens have been slaughtered so far due to plant shutdowns as a result of the pandemic. Among the methods of killing them are filling their sheds with CO2 gas and smothering them with water-based foam. Pig calling methods vary depending on the circumstances, but include anesthetic overdose, gassing, shooting, sodium nitride ingestion, blunt force trauma, in some cases by slamming piglets against the ground, and boiling them alive. Thus far, the slaughter has continued despite the outcries of animal rights activists, and in spite of the fact that demands at food banks and hunger rates are soaring in the U.S. during the pandemic. One of the many issues the coronavirus crisis has placed under the limelight is the inhumanity and environmentally destructive nature of the meat industry. In addition to the unfathomable cruelty with which animals in both the meat and dairy industries are handled, animal agriculture is also among the primary causes of global warming. Countless scientific sources have concluded that beef and pork production release enormous amounts of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. The meat industry also perpetuates racial injustice against ethnic minorities, in an opinion piece for the New York Times, author Jonathan Safran Foer mentions that the majority of the thousands of workers who contracted COVID-19 at U.S. meat plants due to refusals to shut the factories down as the virus spread were Black and Hispanic. The coronavirus pandemic has only accelerated and brought greater attention to the long-standing problems and devastating injustices in the meat production industry. Americans must urgently reconsider their meat consumption habits and press for immediate reforms to take place in the meat industry. You listen to Fair Planet for human rights for our planet. We are a non-profit platform for independent journalism and activism concerned with human rights issues and the way we, as humans, are treating our planet and its inhabitants. We engage our audience to take action for positive change. Go to fairplanet.org and join us.